Okay, so I'm recording now. I will place it afterwards so you see it. Okay, um, there's also a way of doing a sphere, for example, if you're doing this ant colony thing, which is a very nice idea, you can select the sphere, make it as big as you want. You can copy these ones by pressing Alt and the arrow, or you can just select them and copy them with the command copy, enter and move them around. No? Uh, mm -hmm. But obviously these are like too pure for a NAND colony, so you might want to deform them, no? So a way of deforming it could be the cage edit. It's a command that allows you to, to kind of a, deform an object inside of a cage. Uh -huh. you, have to, you have to select bounding box here, and then enter, enter, enter. And this gives you many little points that you can actually select and deformed by moving the points. And notice how the, the sphere got deformed there. Just select these other points and press them up. And select these yeah. points instead and move them around. No? So that you can actually do very funky things, very interesting things to, yeah. to make, instead of a sphere, any kind of a irregular kind of a spatial mm -hmm. configuration mm -hmm. no uh, again that's cage added but uh, when you escape you get rid of the points of the cage if you want to get them back you need to select the cage go to standard and actually turn on here this command turn on uh, points uh, control points which is left click of the button there and they will be turned on again no? mm -hmm. and there you go you can deform it again uh, one thing, if you escape, you get, lose the points. But if you move only the sphere and you don't select the cage, if you select the cage and the sphere, you can move everything around. But if you only select the sphere and you move it, it loses. It tells you you're losing the relationship between the cage and the sphere. You know? So be careful. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you might don't care and you say, okay, but if you don't want that, you want to go back and make sure you move those two at the same time. Okay. So this could be a good idea and you can start making many of those. For example, you can select those two and copy them, copy. Can I have more than the dots that Sorry? showed me? Can I have more dots than that you showed me? Yeah. So yeah. I want to have soft uh, service. Yeah, so you can select this guy and again, Kate edit, enter. It's the same, always bonding box, enter. And before pressing the last enter, you can change here the number of points. Uh -huh. Is the X point, Y point and Z point, the degree I will leave it there. And you can say 10 if you want, and then 10. There, you have to place three numbers if you want three numbers because there's basically um, uh, in the vertical dimension, in the other direction, in the X direction, in the Y, no? And now yeah. there's probably, I wouldn't place too many points because then it becomes very difficult to control. But obviously you can deform this in very funky ways no? now. And you can select a bunch of them and start doing very crazy things that are interesting. You can even scale those points. No? So now, again, the case if I escape, I lose the points. I can delete the case if I want, or I can move both of them if I want to use it again in the future. Turn on control points and there you go with that no so this is very interesting um, to do very regular and kind of a crazy uh, blobs in a way and again if you have two of those let me delete this cage imagine i'm done with these two and i want them to you know to touch each other somehow or relate to each other uh, if they're touching then the video explains very well the boolean operations no boolean Difference, for example, will be one enter and the second, and that cuts away uh -huh. what the second one yeah. touches in. No, but if you do, for example, Boolean difference and you select the inverse way, then you cut away from the other one. So, this is in the video tutorial and explains. You can do also Boolean union, so now they're separated. But if I do a Boolean union of both, then it's a one space. So, if I get inside they're connected no or if i do a 
a ghosted, I can see how that opening, so basically it's like one volume now, not two of them separated. So you can do many of these and start connecting them, imagining different spaces being together and so on. Okay. Anyway, let me stop the, the recording there. Um,